Welcome to the vibrant and colorful world of bell peppers. Globally, these peppers brighten up our meals and dazzle us with a rich palette of colors. With over 36 million tons produced annually, they are more than just a culinary delight. They are a feat of agricultural engineering. Let's peel back the layers and discover how these colorful vegetables journey from the seed to your plate. Subscribe now and join Captain Discovery's journey. Bell peppers, scientifically known as Capsium anum, are native to Central and South America and part of the Solancia family. They were cultivated by indigenous peoples in Mexico as early as 7000 BC and played an integral role in diets of ancient civilizations like the Aztecs and Mayans. In the late 15th and early 16th centuries, explorers brought bell peppers to Europe as part of the Columbian Exchange which was the widespread transfer of plants, animals, and other goods between the Americas and Europe after Christopher Columbus's voyages. Christopher Columbus was an explorer who sailed from Europe to the Americas in 1492, leading to the first contact between the two continents. People in Europe quickly started to love bell peppers because of their sweet taste and bright colors, especially in Mediterranean dishes. From Europe, bell peppers made their way to Asia, becoming important ingredients in the cuisines of countries like China and India. By the 19th and 20th centuries, bell peppers were being grown and enjoyed all over the world. Today, bell peppers come in a variety of colors, including green, red, yellow, orange, purple, and white, each representing different ripeness stages and cultivars. They are used in numerous culinary applications, from being eaten raw in salads to being roasted, stuffed, grilled, or incorporated into soups and stews. Nutritionally, Bell peppers are rich in vitamins A and C, antioxidants, and other essential nutrients, making them a healthy addition to any diet. So, where do our bell peppers start their journey? Step into a greenhouse where the environment feels more controlled than a space station. Here bell peppers don't grow in the old-fashioned dirt, they prefer something a bit more modern. We're talking about hydroponic systems, where plants luxuriate on beds of stone, wool, or coconut core. It's a bit like swapping a cotton pillow for a memory foam one. 
This method lets farmers control everything – temperature, humidity, even the soil nutrients. It's farming that's less about green thumbs and more about tech savvy. Quick quiz! Nutrient know-how! What essential nutrient do bell peppers need most to flourish? A. Nitrogen B. Potassium C. Phosphorus D. Magnesium Engage with us! Which nutrient do you think is most crucial for growing bell peppers? Post your answer in the comments below and see if you're right! The harvest is finally here! Oh wow! That must have been a great harvest! Imagine a machine that could gently pick enough bell peppers to fill a small mountain every hour. Meet the Pick Right Pepper Harvester, the gentle giant of agriculture. This beast handles the delicate task of plucking peppers at a pace that would make your head spin. 20,000 pounds every hour! It's designed to navigate different field layouts, adjusting its height like it's stretching its legs, ensuring not a single pepper is missed. It's as if your friendly neighborhood robot took up farming. Once harvested, the real precision work begins. Bell peppers are transported to state-of-the-art sorting and packaging facilities, where each pepper is treated with the care it deserves. They first undergo a preliminary inspection. This stage is crucial for removing any peppers that were damaged during harvesting or transport. It's a bit like triaging in an emergency room. Determining which peppers are ready to move forward and which need to be set aside. Next comes the heart of the operation, automated sorting. This process utilizes advanced technology, including AI scanners and optical sensors that can detect subtle nuances in color, size, and shape. Each pepper travels along conveyor belts and is scanned in milliseconds. Think of it as a high-speed photo shoot where every angle matters. Quick quiz! 
What color bell pepper is usually the sweetest? A. Green B. Red C. Yellow D. Orange Join the conversation. What do you think? Comment your choice and let us see who gets it right. After sorting, the peppers are meticulously cleaned. They pass through washing stations where brushes and eco-friendly detergents remove dirt and reduce the presence of natural field residues. This step is crucial for ensuring food safety and extending shelf life, giving them a sparkling appearance that appeals to shoppers. The final step in the facility is packaging. Depending on their destination, peppers might be packed in bulk, in bags, or trays, often under a controlled atmosphere, to enhance longevity. Some packaging might be simple, such as large bins for food service delivery, while retail packaging involves more detail, ensuring each pack is visually appealing and ready for display. Though effective, this process isn't without its environmental impact. The use of plastics in packaging and the carbon footprint of transporting peppers across vast distances are points of concern. However, the industry is making strides towards sustainability, experimenting with biodegradable packaging and optimizing transport routes to reduce emissions. Thank you for joining us in exploring the production process of colorful bell peppers. Enjoy exploring factory production with us? Like, share, and subscribe to Captain Discovery for more fascinating insights into manufacturing.